everyone, it's Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise. Today I'm going to work on week number 16 and I've decided to stick with Design F pages. And the Design F is one 4x6 and then the rest are these 3x4 squares. So I made two templates, one showing the Design F on the front and then one showing the Design F on the back where the 4x6 is up in that top right corner. So I'm just going to be working exclusively with this design. I had a bunch of pictures this week and I made them all into 3x4s. You can see I have a lot of them just done as plain 3x4 pictures and then I have the first one of each day of the week done in the Collect app and all I did was I exported them out of the Collect app and then put them into the frame and pick frame. And I have a tutorial for how to do this. I'll link that up down below so you guys can check that out. And I'm just kind of doing like a, a week in the life type of thing. This is kind of a typical week for us. And so I'm gonna get a chance to use those week paper clips from Freckle Fawn. I had them from last month, I never used them. So this week I decided I'm going to put them to good use. So that's all of them. I used one of them. And for that, I'll just use something else. So for that day of the week, I will just use another one. I think I used the Monday. So I have everything but the Monday here. And for Monday, I'll just put something else on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up and get started. All right, so your question of the day today is, what do you do when you scrapbook or card make? Do you listen to music, watch TV, listen to audiobooks? I'm interested to see what you guys like to do when you scrap. I tend to listen to music most of the time. So for this, I went ahead and did these little collect app things, and I didn't resize them in the pick frame app, so they had a little bit of a border around them, so I'm cutting around the edges, and I'll mount these on some cardstock later because they're just a tiny bit smaller than 3x4 now. And now I'm just cutting all my other pictures. I'm putting all my other pictures in a pile and spreading out my days of the week because I have one picture for each day of the week with that collect app so it gives the date. And I'm just going to line those up when I get them and they're all kind of in chronological order and then all the other pictures are just being added to this pile. And I'm going to show you exactly how I went through and organized all this. So I cleaned up my little scraps and I got the first pictures in chronological order. Now I'm going to my phone into the pictures and I'm looking through and I do all of my scrapbook pictures on my phone too. I'm just spreading out the pictures and grabbing the pictures in order as I'm looking through my phone since my phone snaps the pictures in chronological order. I'm just lining them all up so I can have everything in order and then I can scrapbook that way. So I lost my place for a second and I had to go find it again. Going through just picking out my pictures, putting them in a nice order. You can see each day starts with those collect app pictures. And when I get these all organized, I'm just going to put them in a pile and just work from the pile, just starting at the top and working my way through the pile. So as you can see, I'm just lining them up in an order so I can get started on my actual layout. I thought I would share that with you guys because I know going through pictures and organizing pictures can be complicated sometimes. But this is all stuff from the April Project Life Studio Calico kit. And I ended up not using very much of this kit. I ended up going back to some older stuff. I'm just trying to arrange the photos how I like them. And this is gonna be very photo heavy as you can see. And I'm leaving spaces for filler cards and journaling cards because I did a little bit of journaling on those Collect App ones, but I didn't explain all the other photos. So I'm just adding some in here. These are from that April Project Life Studio Calico kit, and I'm just not digging the color combo for this. I don't know what it is about this kit, but the color combo to me is just too yellowy, too greeny. And so I went and picked out some things from various other add-ons and from older stuff. I even pull out some Gossamer Blue kit stuff and end up using some of that. And I really mess around with it. The colors are just really not working for me and I end up going with some black and gray and aqua and pink. And of course pink and aqua are my favorite colors. It's been a while since I looked through these items from Gossamer Blue. I think these are from February and I just absolutely Loved some of the stuff, so I pulled out some of the wood veneers, used some of the cards, and I really like that Nom Nom card next to the food pictures, but then it didn't match that brown wood grain card, so I just really redid pretty much every card that I had originally put out. 
And I did use a lot of black on this layout, which I ended up liking. I usually use more color than this, but it worked. I decided to do two sets of journaling on here to explain the picture to the side and the picture up above this. So I add some little arrows to point towards the picture that I'm describing with my journaling. For this card, I really liked the idea of the beautiful running across the side of the card, but after I got the journaling done, I decided I'm going to use that family wood veneer and say family is beautiful, and so I decided to flip it over and use the other side. I just didn't think it was going to look very good with all the words being sideways, so I switched it so they would all be the right way. To spell out the is, I pull out these vellum alphabet stickers from the April Freckled Fawn kit and this was one of my favorite items just looking at the kit but this is the first time I used them and oh my goodness I absolutely love them I need to get more of these if they have more in the store usually they have extra items from the kit available just to subscribers so if you're not a subscriber to Freckled Fawn you definitely should join if you're interested in joining you can get five dollars off if you get them my name and my email and I'll have that info in the description below. I just absolutely love these stickers. I end up using them on a lot of the pieces on this layout, and I love them. But anyway, so I got a little off track there. So for that black Nom Nom card, I used a white gel pen, and I just have some Jelly Roll gel pens. I've also had good luck with the Signo white gel pens, but they have been skipping. So I went and switched to these Jelly Roll pens. I really like them a lot better, actually. For this title card, I pulled out some thickers. These are just foam striped thickers, and they're super duper cute. If I can find them in a store, I will link to them because they are just adorable. I ended up getting them, I think, at TJ Maxx or Tuesday Morning or something. Super duper cheap. So they might not be in stock anywhere. Uh, but I really like them, and I decided to write out everything with these. I almost used two different alphabet sets, but I decided to just go with the one alphabet and I'm writing out an ordinary week because it's kind of like a week in the life of us. So I wanted it to be a cute little title at the top. And then I'm just going to journal on here um, week number 16 and the dates of the week. So it's all on that title card. And I'm flipping through to find the last day of the week. That's all I was doing is just looking for that little collect picture. And I have this little heart die cut. I just decided to add it to that and here are those days of the week clips I'm just trying to get them added I want them over the pictures but some of the pictures are too dark to set them over the picture camera's battery ended up dying so I'm all I did was doodle these little arrows so I can say before and after for these pizza pictures and I finished adding those paper clips so that's all I did off camera I'm using my flip camera and I'm actually in the market for a new camera the Handycam that I have is in HD and it's just not crisp enough for some of my videos. It works really, really good for my Copic videos really close up, but some of these over the head pictures that I'm doing, the picture is just horrible and this flip doesn't have a viewfinder on it that I can swivel around. So if you have good camcorder recommendations, please let me know in the description below. I am just trying to research some of the cameras out there right now. I'm trying to get something in the mid-range, not too expensive, but also not just a beginner level camera. And here are those Freckled Fawn Alphas again, and it says hello, so I wrote homemade. And then on the other side, I just wrote before and after, pointing to the pizza before we put it in the oven and the pizza after we put it in the oven. And then I'm just doing a little bit of journaling here and there, explaining some of the other pictures. I like my little doodly arrows, so I decided to make a little arrow doodle pointing downward towards the pictures below and just journal on the same card. And I have the space in the middle and I wanted to write something, and so I wrote spring in there. So these are all just spring day type of photos. Now this card that's for Monday doesn't say anything, so I decided to add some little alphabets to that. And these are just teeny tiny alphabets I have, that I've had for a long time. And I have these organized in a little album. I have a video for that. I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out if you're interested. And here I'm just pulling out some of these printable banners that I made. These were designed by me. They are in the SP Digi shop. 
and I just print and cut them with my silhouette and I also have a tutorial video for that. I'll also link that down below so you can check that out. I just wanted to put some labels on some of these pictures. I'm just going to write their names on these little banners and then staple them on with the tiny attacher. And then I have another picture of two albums stacked up together and I actually organized my thickers in those albums and I will have a tutorial from start to finish how I made my album. I totally just made it myself. I know that American Crafts sells albums specifically for thickers but I just did it myself. I had to trim a little bit around this label shape because there were some white edges showing. I just trimmed that and attached it here and then sliced off the little bit that was hanging off. Now I'm finished with the front and back and I'm just going to stick this in that Design F page protector ends up being the front and back of the first one and I noticed that these collect images are a little bit too small like I said before and I decided to mat them. I just end up grabbing some pink and teal cardstock from my stash and it's just some scraps that I had. I just cut them down to a little bit under 3x4 but these ones were just too small and I wanted just a little bit of border and the border doesn't show up very much. It's very subtle but I really like the way it looks. I go ahead and cut seven of these, so there's one for each day. And I save these other scraps. I'm setting them aside to put in my small scraps section. because so I use things like that for journaling and for die cutting and punching things with punches. So I grabbed one more aqua one and I'm just gonna arrange them pink and teal alternating and then I'll just mat them as I go. And as you can see, not very much of the color shows through. It's very, very subtle, but it makes them fit in the pockets a little bit better. And I think it's actually kind of cute with the teeny tiny bit of border around it. So I just do that to all of those. Now moving on to the back side, I do the same thing and I end up having to trim things here and there because they're just not lining up good enough. And some of the 3x4 spaces in these design Fs are really, really tight. So I end up just slicing off a little sliver of some of these pictures. Oh, I forgot to attach that wood veneer, so I went ahead and got that attached too. You can see I'm just having trouble sticking some of these in these tight pockets. I don't know why, but they're not all exactly the same size. I do have to kind of shove some of them in. And here's a look at those two pages, front and back, up close. You can see the tiny border around those pictures. I just think it looks really cute with the colorful border. And now we're moving on to the next two pages. I ended up having four pages this week. I'm arranging these and I end up having a lot of pictures, too many to fit on just one side. And so I end up splitting these up into two pages. So the first page is going to be Saturday and the second page is going to be Sunday. And it happened to be Easter, so it ended up working really well to have the two pages set up because we had some other random stuff on Saturday. And then Easter Sunday, we had a little special day. Since I have all these spring day photos on the Easter layout, I decided to pull out these spring cards from Studio Calico I got a while back. I can finally use some springy stuff now that the weather is warming up and the flowers are starting to come out. And I end up pulling out some of those clouds from the March Freckled Fawn kit too. I've really been wanting to use those cute little clouds. So I'm just filling in these spaces. And again, I'm just not digging the colors in that April kit. so. I'm going to pull out some cards from the Dear Lizzie collection because I know they're soft and there's some pinks and aquas. I'm just going through that. If you want to see how I organize my core kit cards, I will have a link down below showing you how those are organized. You can see the little divider tabs I have here. I also want to point out that I'm actually using a different journaling pen than I usually use. This Project Life journaling pen set came with three pens. There's a 0.1, a 0.3, and a 0.5. 
and I'm using the 0.5. It's super thick and bold, and I absolutely love it. It's so much smoother than the other two, so I probably will stick to this 0.5 from here on out. I had been using the 0.3 on my weeks before, and it's, start, it's hard to start the pen. I sit there trying to write the first letter a couple of times before the pen actually starts up, and I did not have this problem at all with this 0.5 pen. I absolutely love the 0.5 pen. Here are those um, Freckled Fawn stickers again. Absolutely love them. They're so, so cute. I'm just adding them to everything. <laughs> On this card I decided to draw another one of those little arrows and then on this card I'm just describing Maya laying in the picture next to it. And then this card I did another arrow pointing to Maya. She's making a really goofy face in that photo. This one I go to write and I mess up the second word but there's no backside so I just work with it. I write over what I messed up and it'll be okay. I thought about maybe covering up the word with a little piece of cardstock, and I've also seen people write their journaling out in pencil before they write it out in pen, and that's just totally not going to work for me. I just don't want to spend that much time on the writing part, and if I make a little mistake here and there, you know what? It's totally okay. Mistakes happen, and that's just part of it. Just remember that it doesn't have to be perfect, even when your perfectionistic tendencies want you to start over or throw something out. Just embrace the imperfections and it's part of your art. So for this journaling card I did point arrows and I've got two separate little pieces of journaling describing the pictures that are around this card. As I was adding these alphas I noticed this little heart border and I decided to add that to that black and white card. Now I'm going to write Happy Easter on this card so I'm just flipping through trying to find some thickers that I like for this. I wanted them to be pink and these ones have polka dot glitter on them and I'll try to find these if I can find them. A lot of my thickers are super duper old. With this set of thickers some of the backing on the paper peeled off with the sticker so I have to peel that off and stick them down and I have trouble with some of these chipboard thickers actually sticking so I have my glue ready. I'm going to end up gluing all of these down once I get them all on here. These alphas came in a Studio Calico add-on kit last month, so I'm just adding them and I'm just writing out 2014 on there. Next I just mat these Collect App photos onto those little pieces of paper. And since I had one of them already on um, that 4x6 card, I didn't have to mat that one. And I had one extra. And this is when I pull out those cute little clouds, I decide to add one. I wish I had thought about them earlier, but there were so many clouds already on some of those journaling cards that it was okay. There were still plenty of clouds. I think it turned out really cute. I'm just stuffing these in, and then we'll call it done. I'll show you the whole thing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the wonderful comments that you guys leave for me, and I do read every single comment. And I just appreciate you guys taking the time to leave comments. I'm sorry I don't respond to every single one, but I try to respond to as many as I can. So I'm really happy to be able to make these videos. Please subscribe for new videos and be sure to check out my blog daily for tutorials and projects. And here's a look at the two pages that will sit next to each other in the book. The other two will sit next to other week layouts. So that is it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!